I wish I invented this term, the thousand cock stare. <laughs> yeah, it's this notion that a woman who has had too many sexual partners has a particular kind of look to her eyes, okay? Now, this isn't the case that every girl who is exceptionally promiscuous has this look. No, no, no. There are some girls who, who look like, you know, little angels who are incredibly promiscuous. I can think of several offhand, but that's not the point. The point is, see, there are these women who have this, this look to their eye, and it's very obvious to a man. Interestingly enough, it's not so obvious to women. Yeah, the look to define it, uh, uh, I'm not going to put up any photographic examples on this video because I don't want to get any uh, copyright strike or any nonsense like that. But the, the look is basically glassy. There, there's like this hard look to a woman's eye. It's sort of like glassy. It's kind of, it, it's hard to define, yeah? But there's this look and it's like a knowing look. A knowing look, a hard look, a glassy-eyed look. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like a little bit jarring on the one hand, but at the same time, very attractive. And of course, it's very attractive because you realize that the girl who has this uh, thousand cock stare, this hard, glassy look to her, yeah, she's willing to have sex with you whenever you want to. Yeah, because she's promiscuous, because she's just DTF, down to fuck. Yeah. And of course, it's, it's very attractive, but the reason it's a little jarring is interesting. It's a little jarring because uh, a man naturally does not want to be with a promiscuous woman. Of course not. Naturally, in the evolutionary sense, because it, from an evolutionary perspective, if a man gets with a promiscuous woman, he might wind up raising another man's child. He'll never be really sure. And I suspect that that's why men can spot this look and women, oddly enough, cannot. Yeah, I once had a contest with a friend of mine in college. We were sort of like pointing out girls in college who had this look, right? And she couldn't see it. I mean, she knew that there were certain girls who were promiscuous in, in, in college, but she was sort of like blind to this look that a, a promiscuous woman would have, this thousand cock stare. She, she just couldn't see it, oddly enough. And, and this girl, this friend of mine, um, she was a normal girl. She, you know, she had had sex. She wasn't a virgin. We were like 22, I would suppose, at that time, or 23. Um, she had had sex with boyfriends, but she was not, by any stretch of the imagination, promiscuous, right? And so perhaps it's something that her lack of promiscuity prevented her from seeing it. I don't know. Uh, I've, I've spoken casually to some other women, and they also don't seem to recognize this look. Now, it could be that they're lying, of course. I mean, women always lie. Women always lie, especially about the reputation of other women, okay? Because, you know, like uh, talking shit about another woman is, uh, is a big no-no among women, unless you have good reason to do it, okay? So it could be that they were lying. It doesn't really matter. The, the point is, that, see, as far as I know, women have a bit of a blind spot to this look, but guys, guys don't have a blind spot to this look. Guys consistently recognize it, and sometimes they recognize it without being able to articulate it, which is why I'm doing this video. Yeah, you meet a girl with a thousand cock stare, yeah? You understand that she's promiscuous. You understand that she is catch and release. You want to have a fun time with her, you know, a one night stand or a nice long weekend, go for it, right? Any kind of relationship, you're high, you're on drugs, you're a fool. Don't, never, ever, ever try to have any kind of relationship with a girl who has a thousand cock stare. Of course not. It would be insane of you to do so because she's going to leave you. Yeah, and don't give me this stuff that, oh, you know, she's changed and, you know, it's true love and all this bullshit. Oh, screw that, okay? A girl who's got that look, that hard, glassy look to her eye, that, that it's, it's a kind of toughness, okay? And it's really interesting because there are girls sometimes, you know, like models especially, they try to pretend to have that look because they, they, they want to look sexy, right? And it's really interesting because you can't fake that look, you know? Even girls who try their hardest to look as slutty as possible, you know, that's why I'm mentioning models because a lot of times they try to do that, right? They try as hard as possible to, to, to fake that look, but you can always kind of tell, you know? You can always tell, you know, if it's genuine or they're just faking it, right? 
if it's really some like innocent girl who does not has not had a thousand different sexual partners who's trying to pretend to be all slutty for the sake of the picture versus a girl who really is like that you can always tell and for the life of me i do not know why but it's the case oh yeah now by the way see not all women who are promiscuous have this look to their eye okay i mean i, I gotta make that really crystal clear it's not that all promiscuous girls have this look. Rather, all girls who have this look are promiscuous. And this look cannot be faked. There's something about it that you know for a fact it's genuine. Hmm? Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, because there are lots of girls who look incredibly innocent, but are complete sluts. Huh? I mean, hell, I can think of two right off the bat. There was uh, Grace Kelly, the actress, right? Grace Kelly, the actress, you look at a picture of her and she looks like a princess. Well, she married uh, uh, the Prince of Monaco and became Princess Grace, right? But she was a slut. She was a nymphomaniac, okay? I mean, she wasn't merely a slut. No, no, no. She had clearly some kind of sort of psychological problems because contemporaries of her have said how she would have sex with everything that crossed her path. Everything, every guy. I mean, it would be a big movie star or an electrician on a film set. She would have sex with him. She, she had an itch that no amount of dick could scratch, okay? And she was famous for it, and yet her pictures, she looks like this perfect little angel for crying out loud, okay? There's one example. And another example I can think offhand, and I know for this for a fact, is um, this model, Miranda Kerr, you know? The, the one who married the owner of Snapchat, that guy Evan Siegel, I think his name. Yeah, well, Miranda Kerr, I know for a fact that she is the biggest slut ever. She has banged everything, okay? And yet you look at her and she looks like this perfect little innocent angel, yeah? You cannot tell if a girl, just because she looks like an angel, is a promiscuous girl. But if they have that thousand cock stare, you know who they are. Oh, by the way, a quick parenthesis about uh, Miranda Kerr, right? That girl is the biggest gold digger ever, okay? She married Orlando Bloom, the actor, when it looked like he was going to be a big deal. She married him thinking that, you know, she was buying uh, uh, futures on a very profitable corporation, right? But then Orlando Bloom's career was a bust, right? And what'd she do? She ditched that guy, right? She got into, she got with rather a couple of Australian billionaires and she literally pulled that stunt of like, why don't you two guys fight over me? Yeah, she actually did that. James Packer and some buddy of his, another billionaire, they came to blows over her. Not kidding. Yeah. And then she wound up hooking up with this guy from Snapchat, right? Evan Siegel is his name or Spiegel, something like that. Anyway, this moron, okay, a moron. I mean, he was a real incel, right? And she's incredibly hot. I mean, she's like this big time supermodel, right? Uh, uh, he wound up, I get this, this is actually true. He wound up proposing to her and not sleeping with her because she convinced him somehow. She convinced this moron incel that the, 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 the good thing would be for them not to have sex until their wedding night, right? Uh, she's got him on a string. And I think that in maybe two, three, four years, right? She's gonna knock out a couple of kids of his, right? And she is going to take him to the cleaners. The guy's a billionaire now, but when she's done with him, she'll be the billionaire and he'll be a pauper, you know, <laughs> at the unemployment line. Yeah, I guarantee it because that's the kind of girl she is. Oh, it's so funny. I mean, I just had to make this quick parenthesis. Okay, back to the video. And, <laughs> and a quick parenthesis. <laughs> And a quick parenthesis to the parentheses, you know, I love gossip rags. I love all that crap. And you know why? Because all this gossip shit, right? It talks about human truths. You knock gossip rags, right? Daily Mail and, and who's fighting who and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's all really sad and pathetic, you know, and stupid and trivial. I mean, it, it really is trivial, the, the height of triviality, right? But at the same time, all of that gossip crap that appears in all these gossip rags, right? They reveal human truths, yeah? No different from Dostoevsky. Of course, it's not written in as beautiful prose as Dostoevsky, and it doesn't have the, the neat and clever uh, psychological explanation to what's going on, but it's still no less human. 
On the contrary, the very tawdriness of the gossip rags and all the rest of it reveal an even greater human truth. Don't knock wisdom just because it comes from an unpalatable source. Because many times the, the greatest insights into human beings come from the most surprising sources. Okay, now really back to the video. I'm trying to remember, and I can't quite remember when it was that I first noticed the thousand cock stare, when I noticed that women had this look. I sort of like sensed it when I was a very young teenager with a couple of women that I knew. I mean, obviously they were adult women and I was like something like 13, 14. And I kind of like sensed it, but I couldn't articulate it. And point of fact, you know, I, I didn't come up with a, the, the title Thousand Cock Stare. I hadn't even heard of it until, I don't know, I must have been in college in the early 90s or something like that when I first heard it, okay? And, and of course, the expression comes from uh, uh, the look that Vietnam veterans would have. Uh, it was the, called the Thousand Yard Stare because they'd seen death and they'd inflicted death from a thousand yards away, away and they had that look to them and, and it was this, this far away look, okay? And so, yeah, that's where the, the, the idea of the thousand cock stare comes from. And it is very true. And it makes sense from an evolutionary perspective. Now, there's something else about women with a thousand cock stare. There's something else about promiscuous women, quite frankly. See, promiscuous women are into drama. They will manufacture drama. They will create drama. They are extremely dangerous to you in that regard. Uh, a, a promiscuous woman who has you in her crosshairs, uh, a woman with a thousand cock stare who for some reason stops liking you and decides that you're her enemy and is going to get you for some reason, whatsoever it may be. Maybe it's legitimate. Maybe it's completely something in her head, right? She can cause a lot of damage, okay? You want to stay away from them, okay, in general. If you're not sure if you can handle a woman like that, if you're not sure that you have the ruthlessness and the son of a bitchness to deal with a promiscuous woman like this, keep your distance from her. Don't be dumb. Don't be stupid. Don't think that you can handle her. There are so many men who have been consumed, eaten alive by promiscuous women, women whom they thought they could handle. Huh? Clint Eastwood said it best, you know, a man's got to know his limitations. You start dealing with a girl with a thousand cock stare, you, you, gotta, you gotta have your shit together. It better be tight as fuck. Mm -hmm. Because a girl like that, she'll fuck you up. Oh yeah, she can hurt you. Mm -hmm. And she'll cause all kinds of drama, all kinds of garbage that can hurt your business, hurt your career, hurt, hurt your social life, wind up tossing you into jail. Yeah, you'll find that a lot of women that it turns out that they were definitely lying about rape or some violent sexual assault, you'll, turn, you'll find that a lot of those women are promiscuous women, are girls with that thousand cock stare. And they were vindictive. That's the thing about them. Mm. They are exceptionally vindictive and they will come back to hurt you, hurt you bad. Yeah. And you want to stay away from them. Yeah. Like on YouTube, for instance, there's one woman that I know for a fact has this look, uh, Brittany Venti. I stayed the hell away from her. Oh yeah, she's some vindictive slut. You can tell just by looking at her. She's got that look, that hard, glassy, thousand cock stare. You want to stay away from every woman like that mm -hmm. if you can't handle her. If you can handle her or you dare to try, well, you're going to have a lot of fun <laughs> because a promiscuous woman, she's going to know how to have sex. Oh, yeah, she's going to blow your mind and blow some other things, too, while she's at it. <laughs> but it's going to be an experience. Oh, yeah, I mean, we've all been there. Uh, you know that. I know that. We all know that. We've all been there. We've all partaken in that really slutty girl who's just really good at sex, right? But you got to keep your cool and be smart and never, ever, ever lose your head over her or, or fall for her. Know that she is catch and release at best. And if you're not sure, just stay away from her.